Hey everyone, it's Nahar here from Zeek Analytics and in today's video I'll be walking you through the two main product research strategies for eBay sellers in 2020. So let's get started. So uh, the two main strategies are product sniping, which you all know as competitor research or product sniping. And uh, the second one is the similar products method where you mostly use niche research in order to find your selling opportunities. Now there are advantages and disadvantages, and disadvantages for both of them. Um, let's start with product sniping. So basically product sniping, and, I, I, and in the next slide I will go uh, through it deeply, is basically find competitors and snipe their products and just list them to your store uh, with a better title, with a better price, with a better photos and so on. It's very simple and very easy, but it's not as creative and usually the profit margins are quite low for this method. The second method, the similar product strategy, is basically uh, uh, going more wide, doing a niche research, uh, finding niches with high demand, low competition, and then locate a selling opportunity where you can, uh, when you see that the sellers are not too competitive, that the product selling for price you can compete with, and then of course go and source the, the right products from your supplier. So let's, uh, uh, let's go uh, to the next step where I, where, I, where I explain each method for details and I also give you a short uh, uh, explanation while sharing my screen. So product sniping, it's break to two main steps. Step number one is finding competitors, exactly like this guy here in the picture, this is who you are. You're going and you're searching for competitors that you can actually find products to snipe. Now, it's very important that you understand the logic behind it because there are many eBay sellers, okay, uh, that work in different methods. You need to know which seller to follow, which seller to look for. So the, the best way to find uh, competitors which are fit for your competitor research is search by supplier. Ask yourself which suppliers you are using and then go and look for the similar from, from products from your supplier in eBay and see who sell them. So for example, if it's AliExpress, um, you go to AliExpress or you go to the Zeek AliExpress product research, you look for products uh, that are selling on AliExpress and then you check who sell this product on eBay as well and this will lead you to other uh, dropshippers basically. Uh, then after you find a seller, you have to check the competitor performance. Of course, you have to make sure uh, there is enough products, this seller have enough successful listings, this seller uh, have a good performance because you don't want to waste your time uh, following sellers with very bad performance. You know, you always want to learn from people who are better than you. So you always better look for sellers with a lot of sales, with optimized title, with high profit margins and so on. And then, uh, of course, you build your own competitor list. Why, when you focus on product sniping, you should have your competitor list because, you know, sellers updating their products on uh, probably daily base. So if you have a list, let's say, of 100 or, or 200 sellers, you can check them and you can like manage an organized list where you know when, you, when was the last time you check each, each seller. And this is uh, very recommended because it will be very efficient working this way. Once you found a seller, you found a good seller, then uh, you go to step two, and this is snipe your competitor's listings. And here you want to pick the products with the highest demand, lowest competition. Uh, so the minimum criteria are, are uh, at least five sales in the last 30 days for the product you want to snipe, and no more than 15 competitors, and do not list a product if you don't have a leverage on the price, title, description, and photos. And of course, I haven't wrote it, but it's uh, shipping policies, return policies. You know, always look the full picture, not just go and copy the product. Make sure you are better than your competitor in as many criteria as possible. So this is how simple, as, as it, how simple it is. It is. Uh, you can see here this, uh, uh, the example, the flow. You are looking, you're finding competitors, then you're looking for selling opportunities, then you're sniping your competitors' listings. Very simple, a very easy uh, process. You just have to make sure for the small details. So let's uh, go, I'll share my screen right now, and let's uh, see a short explanation of product sniping before we move uh, to our similar method, uh, research method. All right, so we are here now inside the Zeek Analytics, and I'm gonna now give you a live example of how to do uh, the sniping products method. So as you remember, the first step I mentioned is to find competitors. Now the best uh, 
and fastest way to find competitors is ask yourself uh, which supplier you use yourself because you want to find competitors who use exactly the same supplier okay so for the example here let's say you use aliexpress and what we're going to do is we're going to look for the best selling items on aliexpress check who sell them in ebay and then start look for competitors we can snipe so what i did i went here inside zig to the product research and i choose here aliexpress and i just put here a random keyword for the example let's say sunglasses you can search for whatever keyword just come to your mind and i'll hit the search button now uh, i will get the result of the best selling sunglasses on aliexpress i'll scroll down here and what I will see here uh, is the list of the best-selling products on uh, AliExpress, the best-selling sunglasses. So I just go here on the right side on the scan on eBay button. I'll uh, just check the first uh, three, four, five, six items. Okay. So this is what I did. And then uh, I will just go to every, all of them and I'll hit the Zig selection button and I'll check who is actually selling this product. Uh, on eBay. This is what I'm looking for, right? To see people who drop ship from AliExpress to eBay selling the same products. So I came inside the product research and I'll scroll down to the result and we can see here the list of sellers. We can see the countries, United Kingdom, Russia, Sri Lanka, Morocco, Lithuania. These are mostly, are usually the countries of, of drop shippers. We can see the pictures are exactly the same like here on AliExpress. Uh, so this is another uh, sign that those are dropshippers and I will just go and I click the button here scan seller to find the sellers who are selling this product. So let's go through the first seller I just found this uh, seller from United Kingdom with $5,000 in sales in the last 30 days, 16% sell through rate, 101 successful listings and this is what we are looking for. We are looking for sellers that first of all actually making money okay so they have around one and a half, two thousand dollars or more in sales earning. Then we want to see that they have enough successful listings because we are looking for products that sold at least five times in the last 30 days. So they need to have enough product that sold something in order uh, of us find products that actually sold something. And the sell threat is just a criteria that gives us the understanding how, how uh, optimized is this seller. So 16% is not so high. Uh, usually we will, uh, uh, we will, uh, uh, we want to be aware if there are sellers with over 30, 40, 50 percent are already are probably doing something very unique. But remember, the most important is the sell earnings. So overall, this guy make a very good profit for this uh, eBay store. So after I see this is a good seller, I would like to save him to my seller list. Remember, we talked about it. So I'll hit the add to watch list. I'll name it. I'll give it stars. Okay, let's just write test, give it stars and save to competitors. I would always suggest you to maybe write a date or maybe give it some, some something that you will remember what is about or when was the last time you scan it. Now, um, the next step, step number two is finding for product we can snipe. So I'll scroll down here and I look through the products. I look on how many sales in the last 30 days, how many sales last, last time. I will look on the uh, current selling current selling price and the competitors. Now, to see the competitors here, you will need to install the, the Zik booster and you will need to make sure the country e is on the right place. So either it's China or all location. We need to be here on all location. And once you're on all location, if you will see, I will refresh this page now. We will get uh, the results of the competitors here on the right side. So the first product here is a mask. According to this time, it's not good to sell such products, so just ignore it. Second product here is the sunglasses. Five sales in the last 30 days. 25, 24 sales lifetime. Selling price 9.99, and competitors only five competitors. This is a good product. So you want to go and you want to check um, if you can get it for a better price on AliExpress and then uh, just build a better listing, optimize your title, your pricing and everything and list it to your store. Uh, you have few ways to get it. You can just go uh, search by picture or you can click the, uh, the red uh, cross here and then either search by phone on Google or search title directly on AliExpress and it will help you to find it. So this was the example on how to do uh, the uh, product sniping. Uh, let's mo move to the next and the most recommended method, by the way, is uh, niche research and finding similar products.
finding similar products using niche research this is the second method i'm going to teach you today and also this is my favorite method for product research and the reason is you have a lot of room for creativity you can find very profitable products and and when you really want to build a strong a, a strong foundation of business you can't rely only on sniping other sellers you need to do something different you need to to also generate enough profit and you need to bring products which are unique and this method is is perfectly for this so let's go through let's go through the three steps here and let me explain you more about the similar products method so step number one is to uh, find competitors or research a category we do it because we need to get an ideas for niches okay so the same like on the other method when you look for competitors you should always uh, look for uh, competitors who use the same supplier so we will search competitor by supplier or you can just go to the z category research and research random categories once you find supply a competitor or or a category now you want to look for products with unique performance product that generate a lot of sales product that's selling for unique price or maybe a seller with low amount of feedback that managed to sell a specific product for a higher price something that will light this bubble above your head and you and will send you the signal that yes uh, this is an interesting product i should research the niche of this product once you found product with unique performance you copy the keywords that define the niche okay so for example if it's uh, uh, if we talk about the sunglasses so it's going to be vintage sunglasses women's sunglasses etc and then you go to the product research and you search uh, for these two three four keywords now you want to find niches which uh, have high demand low competition which the market diverse which there is enough sell earnings so you can also take a, a small slice of the pie right so we'll always look for niche with at least 500 percent sell to rate and um, uh, uh, not less than 50 percent successful listings we want to make sure this niche diverse there is not only one seller who dominate that the sales split to most of the sellers and uh, basically once we find it now we go to step number three and is finding selling opportunities uh, finding selling opportunities is basically look for a specific product that you can see uh, that it's fit for bringing similar products for the similar products method so what you do you go inside the product research result when you do the niche research you filter by feedback so you can find a uh, successful beginners seller with low amount of feedbacks that manage to rank their products on page one and generate sales and then you look for uh, products which have at least five sales in the last 30 days which are unbranded so for example you don't want to uh, uh, do the similar method products on the nike shoes because nike is the reason people buy the shoes you would prefer to go for niches where uh, where the brand is less important and of course you want to make sure that you can compete uh, with the price okay not just bring similar product and selling it too expensive so as you see here in the picture this is you you find a competitor uh, you you go to the niche to do a, re a, a category research once you found product with with unique performance you do a niche research on a product research searching searching the keywords that define this uh, niche and then you're looking for selling opportunity now i'm going to share my screen and i'm going to give you a live example on how it looks when you do this uh, method on Zeek. so we are back in Zeek, and i'm going to show you now uh, how you uh, find selling opportunities using the niche research similar products method so as i say there are two ways to start you can start from category research which is here and you can start from competitor research let's jump in first to the first competitor from the last presentation and start from here so you got coming across a competitor but instead of just going and copying the same product what you want to do is to observe the product this competitor is selling and to see if do you see any pattern any unique product performance so the first and easiest way to find a, a, to to look for for niche idea is to look for the product with the highest amount of sales okay just go and you see okay this product here have 57 sales in the last 30 days 57 sales for one product uh, from drop shipping is a unique performance and then what you do you go and you keep copy the keyword and do the niche research i'm not going to show you example on this because this is a mask and basically uh, uh, ebay removing this type of listings now so let's let's look for another 
pattern here. So I'll scroll down through this seller and I see that many of his listings are sunglasses. So this is another sign for a unique performance niche. Why? This seller focuses on actually one niche, women and men sunglasses. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to look for the keywords that defining this product and I'm going to look for one specific keyword which, can, which I can do a niche research for. So we see here rimless sunglasses. This is also uh, uh, something you can search, rim, rim sun, rimless sunglasses. This is polarized sunglasses for men. This, uh, sunglasses men, driving, and so on. But I came across this product here, which is oversized square sunglasses. So what I do, I will uh, copy the title, or I will just hit the scan title here. And now instead of checking who is selling this specific product, I will remove the keywords, and I will leave here only the keywords that defined the niche. So it's an oversized square sunglasses. I'll hit again the search button and then once I get the result, I'll click the checkbox and click Zig Selection. And now we're coming to the part when we decide if this is a good niche or not a good niche. Now we will always want to focus on a high demand, low competition niches. And let's see the results here. So we see sell through it is above 500, is 3,000 percent, 91 successful listings. The trend is going up, $23,000 in sales. And everything is perfect here beside this pie, which showing us this is not so diverse. So I'll scroll down to see uh, how many sales they're generated. And as you can see, uh, it's still diverse enough. And uh, many sellers here are selling quite a lot of uh, 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 products. Uh, so yeah, there's enough sales here. I'll come here and I look for selling opportunity. Remember, step number three. I'll click on the amount of feedback here. And I will see the sellers with the lowest amount of feedback first. And then I will start scroll down and see uh, if I can find a selling opportunity uh, or not. So as you can see, you see different sellers here. I always look for the sellers with the, lo with the lowest amount. I'll also, by the way, look on the country. Okay, so, so Chinese are usually not drop shippers. I'll try to see someone else which I can compete with. And I came across this US seller here with 4,000 feedbacks selling this product for $12.98, sold 20 times in the last 30 days. And what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna go and I'm gonna look for similar product, doesn't need to be exactly the same, can be similar products that can fit to this title. So I'll go here and I'll click on scan on AliExpress. If you use another supplier, you can go and check it on another supplier. For example, uh, uh, if it's Walmart or Overstock, or whatever, I click scan on AliExpress and it will research uh, the same niche, the over, oversized square sunglasses directly on AliExpress. I'll scroll down here and I look for similar product. Now take a look on the first product here. This product here uh, with 4.7 rating, e-packet, uh, 4,000 sales, so selling for $3.99. Okay, it's very, very similar. Let's take a look how much it's exactly selling here. Yes, yeah, so it's $3.99 with $2 shipping. Okay, let's take a look on this product here. Or it actually look very similar, okay? Uh, and then I'll go back here to the product we, s we found here on eBay, which selling for $12.98. This is the product here. And what I will do from here, and I will just list the similar product. You can use the same product that you did here. You can go back to, to, to uh, AliExpress and look for something else which is more unique or it's a little bit different. Now, when you do similar method, uh, uh, when you use the similar method, uh, the similar products method, you need to make sure you're very, very accurate. So let's say if you're competing with this one, you have to see that there is no frame here. It's very wide, very clean. You need to go and get something very close to the real product. You know, with fashion, we have more room for creativity. With other products, we need to be more accurate. So you have to always be sure you're very close to the reality. And of course, the product you bring need to, to be fit. So you have to really study the product. It's a metal, over, it's a metal square, metal frame, oversized. Uh, uh, with a B sign, as you can see here. So I will, I will go back here and I will look for something maybe with a metal frame. For example, this, this one selling for $2.79, free shipping to the United States. This is a great example, by the way, for a similar product that can sell very well. So I will go here, I will list 
uh, this product here with the sa almost same title. I will, of course, remove things which are not exist. So here we don't have the B. Uh, so I will, I will move it maybe, but I will uh, just optimize the title a bit without change too much. And then I will list it uh, to my store with a competitive price. So if this is selling for $12, I'll try to maybe sell it for $11 cheaper and so on. And this is how you do it. Now, if you want to start with category research, it's basically the same way. You go back to Zeek, you open the category research, and you just pick any random category. So let's go here for, for example, uh, uh, pet supply. Okay, I can go for dog supply, hit the search button, and I'll get the best selling items under uh, the uh, dog supply category. I scroll down here, I look for something which, again, have a lot of sales. For example, this product here, 18,000 sales lifetime. It's a unique product, okay? This one here also. Uh, when you do the category research, you will always see the best selling items on the category, so you're very fast gonna find products with high performance. Another product here selling for $26. It's a service vest, a dog harness. So I will hit the scan button here again. And again, I will clear uh, the keyword to a, a, a service vest, dog harness, for example. Let's see what we get here. So we'll see, we get 100 results here. Perfect. I'll hit the Zig selection and I'll do the same process again. I want to see the performance. So again, 1000% sell to rate, 68% success rate. It's a good niche, more diverse than the last one. Enough sales, enough profit. And then I'll do the same process here. Filter by feedbacks. See a small seller with high performance, as you can see here, and we'll go and check in my supplier. So uh, this was a, a, an example for how you do the niche research. Remember, be accurate with picking the product from your supplier. Make sure you have a competitive price, optimize title, optimize picture, and you will make profit. Of course, when you do this, try to have product with, uh, uh, try to find product with higher profit. You invest more time into this uh, method. So you also want to make more profit out of it. So guys, thank you very, very much. This was a, a short training uh, where I showed you two product research method. There are more videos in the channel which gives more in-depth uh, uh, explanations and examples on these two methods. So just check out our channel, subscribe if you haven't yet subscribed to the channel. Um, smash the like, like button if you find this video valuable and you can also join our Facebook group. There is a link in the description. Thank you very much guys and I'll see you in the next video. Ciao.